Hello, I'm Ofa Kanto. I'm at the Glockgebouw in Eindhoven. It is Stripe Biennale 2017. And I'm on the heavy metal detector tour from hobbyist Steve Mayer. What I'm actually holding is not just a camera, I've connected the camera to one of these metal detectors, if you could see here. This guy is also holding one of these detectors. And what happens is, instead of listening to the regular beeps that you would regularly hear when detecting a metal, Steve has made it so every time you come across a metal, you would hear heavy metal music. Let's see if it works. No, it actually works. <laughs> so at the moment, we're in the, inside the building, and we're going to go outside and see if we can detect anything outside. This is Steve, by the way. Steve has his back to us at the moment. Which is... affects uh, an on-off state for the mute switch. Mute is turned off. Volume amps up whenever it detects metal. It's basically just, you know, on-off. But still, I think, you know, that's far more intuitive, maybe, than different genres. And how would, how would you assign different genres to different types of metal, you know, like, yeah. so it's easy with, like, with black metal, I would maybe, I don't know, something like, you know, iron or something like that, but what do you do with trash, is it like aluminium or something, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then aluminium doesn't really work, and then also, the other thing is you'd have to, cause, because they're, they are real metal detectors, you'd have to constantly change the value on the dials, which yeah, yeah. would make it way less intuitive yeah. for the tour, tour people, you guys, people on tours. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Follow me. Right. Following him. So. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so this should set yes. off majority of everyone's detectors, but uh, might set might set off every one of them. You know, uh, because I think there's an alloy in this. She likes it too. How do you like it? I think we're going outside. Let's listen to some metal. Right. Leaving Clockabow now. Exiting the building. We have such a nice day here in Eindhoven. It's really sunny, it's not hot. Clear skies. Oh, well, clear ish. I'd say it's clear for Eindhoven. <laughs> But come on, let's listen to some metal. Find us some metal. No, a car is metal. Maybe we can listen to the car. <laughs> and we're off. Bike wheel. So nice. I like this project. But it's interesting what Steve was saying just before. What what kind of music fits to what kind of metal? Or what kind of material? Maybe we could ask Steve. Steve, if you were to do this with uh, plastic, what music would accompany plastic? Oh, like synth pop. Yeah, synth pop. Synth pop. Yeah. Like Touch Your Boys. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> nice answer. Yes. guys are all alright. Hey, go up to a car. Break a window. Break a window? <laughs> but check the bumper, right? I think Steve is going a bit too much forward with this heavy metal attitude. <laughs> Break a window. I'm just following a fence. And the fence works. Look, the fence actually is giving me music. Love it. Love it.
If you don't know, this is the Clock Chabao in Eindhoven. And this is where the Stripe Biennale is being held at the moment. And it's going to run until Monday, if I'm not mistaken. Sorry, Sunday, the 2nd of April. That's the last day. So people come down to Eindhoven and experience this. This is cool. Some people are calling it the cultural event of the year. Come and experience different ways to stimulate your senses. It's all about senses and sensors this year, ladies and gentlemen. So, like, We're playing around, trying to make sense of the future now. Look at all these bikes. I think bikes can give me a nice thing. <laughs> what about this bike wheel? This bike wheel doesn't work. And this bike wheel doesn't work. And this bike wheel works. Mostly aluminium, no? Aluminium should be detected, I think, no? What do you think? You think aluminium is detectable? I don't think so. You don't think so? Okay. <laughs> she doesn't think aluminium is detectable. Well, it doesn't conduct electricity, does it? No. Can't really weld it either. Oh, uh, Mr. Mayor is calling us to the big rusted metal thing over there. So Let's see what kind of music this gives us. I bet metal, here. right? <laughs> so this is the object right uh, here. And let's like detect it. This is like my 14th tour in Eindhoven now. So I kind can't, of know. You can't miss it. I have some, like, I, I, you know, I, 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 um, I screwed the page because I showed you what was like the really good and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now your expectations is like, oh, there must be metal everywhere. But you know, I think. Let's go say hello to some friends. So here we have some of the Stripe team with us. Here we have <laughs> this is here, and this is Brandon. Yay. And we are right outside of Klokrabel, so come to Stripe! All right, we're still outside, still looking for metals to detect. And let's put on our headphones to see if we can pick up anything. Here we go. see this whole floor here it's all cement with these metal stripes let's see if we can walk along the stripes we are at stripe also it is it's nice every time that I touch it it gives me a different song I like this it's like a randomized playlist and I never know what I'm gonna get How about we get some people's opinions? So, tell us about your experience, man. Uh, it's some pretty, pretty nasty death metal. Pretty nasty death metal. <laughs> so what do you think of the concept of this uh, thing? Do you think metal detectors should be giving us uh, more music instead of just uh, beeps? Yeah, it's. I mean, it's. It's totally more opportunities. You know, heavy metal, techno detectors. Tech detector. Tech detector. That could techno be something. Techno detector. That could be something. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Something. Thank you. Let's get some more opinions. Right. Who can we talk to? Oh, yeah. Let's talk to this guy right here. So, describe your experience for us, please. It's hardcore metal. <laughs> Heavy, heavy metal. Yeah, it's pretty heavy. It's pretty heavy. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty heavy. But if it does, it's not Alright. Well, if you guys don't know Stripe, this is the area. And uh, this used to be actually an uh, old Phillips area. All these white buildings behind me and all around us, they all used to be Phillips factories. Uh, they used to yeah. manufacture, I think, glass here. Not metal, maybe metal. Let's see. Let's ask Steve, maybe Steve knows. Yeah. Steve is a bit busy. No, does it work out? No, I don't got a metal plate in my school. Why, you didn't serve a knob? Man. A little bit too young, you know? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's cool. Thanks, man. See you later. He likes it too. All right? Yes. Should be okay. Yeah. 
Maybe you want to give us some words to the camera? No. 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 That's a word. That is a word. I, I don't know why I'm over there. Let's go over there. I'm the most camera shy person you'll ever meet. No, but, uh, well, I was too until today when they told me to make a vlog about this. Oh, amazing! <laughs> well, if you don't know, I've uh, strapped the camera to this metal detector. And I'm just walking Have you been around. Rocking out? Sorry? Have you been rocking out? Rocking out? Uh, trying to. Yeah. Okay. Try, trying to. Every time I touch a piece of metal, I'm like. This doesn't work for us. It works. That one. There you go. No. We're getting nothing off this one. Ah, you stopped it. Oh, but we got yours though. Don't you do this to me? <laughs> Can I try for one sec? Sorry? Yeah. Can I listen for one sec? Yeah, here you go. I don't have time to. So we need to find some metal. This... Oh, we need to go. Wait, we can put it on him. I. It's <laughs> <laughs> so good. It's funny. It's awesome. I love this. I need to go on a tour. You, need you to have, have one. To. You need to I need to have one. one. No, yeah. it's so good. Enjoy. Even she likes it. Everybody will like this. Come down to Eindhoven. Now and make sense of the future. Too small, I think. There's also a lot of background like contamination. If you're at like a beach near Limassol, you amp that down a bit because those are very conductive materials. You also find a lot of copper. Yeah. If you have it at that setting. And this. But these are just set in like a broad span. This one doesn't work, but this one works. Work, you know. Okay, follow me. Following the guy. We're leaving the cement blocks and we're now walking on just land. I don't think we can detect anything here, or maybe so, let's see. No, nothing yet. Nothing yet. I might be guessing, but I'd say there's a lot of drinking happening here in the summer. And this is like a patch of grass, probably, right? Uh, during the summer, yeah, this yeah. place is doing uh, some parties, some outdoor parties. But I, I bet as well there's a lot of people just drinking like cans of beer from like, you know, having a picnic, a beer-based picnic. Yeah. So there's probably like cans under the ground. Beer can. Yeah. Beer can doesn't work. Doesn't work? No. No? Aluminium. That's a piece of shit. All right, aluminium doesn't give us metal. Well, I mean, some of the, it depends how solid it is as well. Some cans will work. If, they, if the cans have started to rust, then they'll work. Um, and that's because of uh, science. Chemistry. It's all chemistry and metal, heavy Watch metal. Watch the chain, be careful. There's a chain. The chain is not giving me sound. And Look this. this. Oh, ooh, I like this song. Oof, nice, nice bass lines. I think Steve really made a nice selection of music to go along with this project. Up there. Have a look at this um, car. Woo! Anything, I'm telling you, like any, like this, just this metal pole could become an instrument. Love it. Absolutely love it. It's a bit of a shame that you guys can't really hear the music that I'm hearing. But I'll try to get the playlist from Steve and put it on the video later for you guys to enjoy. And right now we're walking back inside into the Klokkabau. I think the tour is about to be over. It was a really cool experience. I really recommend it to everybody. I recommend this whole event for everybody. You should really come and check it out. Because if you don't, it will be a shame. And this thing happens only once every two years for a week. Why not come down, enjoy, see the expo, see some performances, party out to some brilliant music, not just from this project, but from our event of Stipe Sounds. Should be cool. 
I mean, look, people are just hanging out in the grass, in the sun, having a good time. Alrighty. Well, I'm going back inside. Yeah. Thanks for watching. My name was Ofo. This is me right here. Dun, 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 dun. I'll see you guys later.